Hi friends, this is Tech Assistant Ratul and you are watching Accessible Computing YouTube channel. Warm welcome to another video of Accessible Computing Access to Technology with Accessibility. In this video, we will be learning about how you can create accessible presentation with Microsoft PowerPoint. This is not a single video. We will make more videos on it if you have interests. Do like, share, subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to join our telegram channel to get latest updates. So without any delay, let's start today's introduction part. Microsoft PowerPoint is a professional tool to create presentations. This tool is designed and developed by Microsoft. If you have Office installed in your system, you have the Microsoft PowerPoint. The extension of a presentation which is created by Microsoft PowerPoint is .pptx. In MS Word, we have pages. In MS Excel, we have sheets. And in PowerPoint, we have slides. In every slides, you have 2 to 3 place folders. Place folder is used to write whatever you want or to add any picture, graphics, links, whatever you want, you can add. You can use presentations to demonstrate any topic, any product details, any business plan, to create any training presentation. We also use Microsoft PowerPoint. Today, I am going to start creating a very basic PowerPoint presentation in front of you. Please watch this video till the end to understand the total process. I am in a folder called PowerPoint projects and there I have already created a file called onlinebusiness.pptx onlinebusiness.pptx As I am working as an online business coach and affiliate marketing consultant, I know how online business works. So. I want to create a presentation to demonstrate how, what is the online business and how an online business works, what are the benefits, what are the features and how a person can start online business. I want to demonstrate everything through a presentation. So let's start making the presentation. I'm pressing enter on it. A gnome waiting for PowerPoint online business .pptx PowerPoint. So so the layout is very similar to other applications. I'm not repeating it here. To check the title, I need to press Control. Sorry, Insert plus T. Online business .pptx PowerPoint. So this is the title. If you're using Microsoft Office 2007, 2010, or 2016, by default there was or there is a one slide. By default, the one first slide is created. But as I'm using Microsoft Office 2019 or if you use 2021 Office version, you don't have any slides by default. To create a new slide, you need to press Ctrl plus M. So the first slide is now created. NVDA says nothing. Slide 2, slide view. So I am creating another slide, the slide 2. So if I move to slide wise, I need to press Page up key. Slide one, slide two. This is the slide one. If I press tab key. Center title placeholder shape. This is the center title placeholder, which means here you need to type the name of the document or the main title of the document. And then subtitle placeholder. Subtitle shape. placeholder. So you can add any subtitle here, like presenter's name or company name or company logo, whatever you want. So I'm pressing shift tab. Center title placeholder shape. Center title placeholder. So to type anything, you need to press F2 to open the edit box. Edit multi line blank. Edit multi line blank. So now here I can type whatever I want. So I'm typing online business training. Online. Business. Then I'm pressing escape key. Center title placeholder shape online business training. Then I'm pressing tab key. Subtitle placeholder shape. Similarly, to activate the edit box, you need to press F2 key here. Edit multi line blank. And now I'm typing 
training or the conductor's name or training name. So conducted by. Conducted by. My name. Rad. Then my designation. Um, bit. Code. Oh, bit. Marketing. Right. So I'm pressing. Subtitle placeholder shape conducted by Rattle Basak online business coach affiliate marketing consultant. Okay. Slide one online. So my slide one is ready. So next slide, I want to create another slide two. Slide two. This is the slide two. So here I am typing title placeholder shape. There's a title placeholder. So this is not the center title. Center title means the document title or the training title or the course title, whatever title you want, you can write. But the title the if you if if it says only title place folder which means you need to enter the second topic title because in the presentation you have to discuss topic by topic or subtopic by subtopic okay so how to create subtopic there are uh, there, there are several types of slide layouts which we will discuss upcoming videos how to change layouts and how to do everything so for now, I am typing here. Edit multi. What is online business? What is online? I'm pressing escape key. Title placeholder. I'm pressing tab. Object placeholder shape. Now objects place folder. So this is the place where you can write whatever you want. Remember, this is a presentation. So you don't need to write the full sentences, the complete sentences. You can add points. So that's why by default the bullet sign is added in your edit box of object place folder. Remember there is no bullet or no other sign available in any other place folders except object place folders. We will discuss more about layouts of slides then we can understand what type, what type of slides are available in presentations. So now I'm pressing F2 key. Edit multi line bullet blank. So already bullet is there, but I don't need to bullet right now because I want to blank. enter a single line. Blank. Because I want to tell what is the internet marketing business or online business. So I'm entering. Uh, yes. Sell it and product using internet. E -R -E -T -N -I -S internet it called on business it is a slow o -A 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 space all as internet marketing object placeholder shape selling any product using computer and internet is called online business it is also called as internet marketing so this is a slide two introduction part of my second slide so this is the way we can create slides so remember whatever slides we can create we can give any type of style i mean even any type of font so i'm going to the first slide slide one online center title placeholder this is the center online. title placeholder i'm pressing f2 key edit multi lines i'm selecting everything here if i press alt key Ribbon tab, tab, control expanded, home tab, selected all. So there's a home tab. If I press tab, tab key, then just listen the options. Share collapsed home grouping, cut button, cut copies, format, pay office clipboard, slides grouping, layout, collapsed home grouping, decrease font, clear for bold, top, italic, underline, shadow, stricken throw, toggle characters, change case, collapsed, text, highlight, color font, color split button, red, color font, button font, custom paragraph grouping, bullet split button, collapse numbering, split button, collapse, decrease indent button, unavailable, decrease list of slide. Whatever the options in the uh, phone dialog box or home dialog box in our MS Excel or Word, we are getting all the options here. So whatever color you want to choose, you can choose. I will not show these things anymore. This is the basic keystrokes and basic process to create your slideshow or PowerPoint. If you want to run the slideshow, you need to go to the slideshow view 
To go to the slideshow view, you have to press F5 key. If I'm pressing PowerPoint slideshow online business PPTX. Slideshow slide one. Online slide business show. training. Online business training. Online conducted business training. By, if I press down arrow. Rattle passage. Conducted by. Conducted by. Rattle passage. Online conduct rattle pass. Online business coach affiliate marketing consultant. Right, this is my designation. Okay. So if I press space bar, it will move to the next slide in slideshow view. You can't edit. You can only make you can only present and you can only see whatever you have written you know slides so this is the view you can you you should use when you present something with the help of your presentation if i press space bar let's see slide show slide two what is online business what is on what slide is on two so i'm pressing down arrow selling any product using computer and internet is called online business it is also called as internet marketing so this is our second slide now if I press backspace, we can move back to the previous slide in the slideshow view. Slideshow complete. Slideshow so this complete. is a slideshow complete. As we don't have any uh, other slides, so the slideshow is now completed. We can create another slides. Slide three, slide two. In this third slide, title place edit. In the title place folder, I am typing benefits. Uh, 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 e, e, e. Benef uh. Of online business. On title object place in the folder, object edit, place folder bullet blank, blank. here i need to type some points so first point i'm using work from anywhere w. or no location or no no location boundary Look. if i press enter bullet boundary next bullet blank. i can enter the next point next is num num lock up 24 into seven hours seven hours on bullet ah blank the third point i can add is low investment low the uh, uh, state bullet the fourth point blank i can enter here which is time flexibility i e uh, f The fifth Bullet, point, blank. I can type here, low risk, low investment means low risk. Low. Uh, uh, R. So, Object slide. these are the five uh, benefits which I have typed here. And the bullet sign is automatically added as I am typing or I am creating this in a presentation. So, this is how you can create a basic presentation and you can move your presentation or you can show your presentation in a slideshow view so this is for today see you in the next video and in the next video we will see more features in ms powerpoint thank you everyone thank you for staying with me till the end see you soon this is ratul signing off